Let's land easy 8681. Hello Simpilots, welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator video. Today's video, we're going back to basics with VATSIM for beginners, and we're going to do a full flight online on the VATSIM network from London Gatwick, just a short hop over the channel to Amsterdam in Netherlands, hopefully with as much ATC online as possible. It is going to be a very short flight, one hour, but as I said, this is all about VATSIM, so we're going to start from the beginning again, how to plan the VATSIM flight, log onto the network, file your flight plan, and talk to ATC. So let's get that started. First things first, tonight's flight is going to be an EasyJet flight, which is uh, EasyJet 8681. This flight is actually scheduled to depart in the next uh, 29 minutes. This is a real world flight that I've copied down. So as you can see here, we have a total flight time of 1 hour 13 minutes, probably be a little bit less than that. So I'm going to write on my piece of paper in front of me, I'm going to write my call sign, Easy8681, and I'm going to write Echo Golf Kilo Kilo to Echo Hotel Alpha Mike, which is the two ICAO codes for our departure and our arrival. And you can see we departed from Terminal N at uh, Gatwick, so I'll use a park in by uh, Terminal N when I load up in the sim. Right, now that's that done, let's jump over to Sim Brief and do our flight planning. So on Sim Brief, we're going to go New Flight. We're going to select our airline, which is Easy, oops, Easy 8681. Departing from Echo Golf Kilo Kilo and arriving at Echo Hotel Alpha Mike. Alternate can just be left at auto, it'll pick one for us. Our aircraft today, we're going to fly the fly by wire A320 Neo, so it's going to be the A20 November. That one over there. Variant or airframe, just select the all versions for the fly by wire. So we're going to click on fly by wire A320X all versions. Now I like to fill in the cruise altitude for my Simbrief flight plans because Simbrief is notorious for giving us altitudes that are rather incorrect. So they give us very low altitudes for long flights and sometimes altitudes that are too high for very short flights. Now this is a short flight over the channel, it's just less than an hour flight time. So I'm going to do flight level 230 for this flight. Everything else I'm going to leave as auto or as it is default and um, let's go ahead and say generate flight. Right, once that's done, we can go ahead and we can do the flight plan downloads for our vPilot program. So we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom here, we're going to get the .vfp file. We're going to download that. Once that's downloaded, we're going to take it from our downloads folder. And we're going to paste it into our vPilot documents folder. So we're going to go to documents, vPilot files, and we're going to paste it there with all our other previous uh, flight plans. Right, now that that's done, we can open up Navigraph and we can set up our charts for this flight. So we're going to go to Import Flight, Import from Simbrief. We're going to use this one, Echo Golf Kilo Kilo to Echo Hotel Alpha Mark. And we're going to download that into our Navigraph. Now, I know not everybody uses Navigraph. For those that don't use Navigraph, there's a free charting software program called ChartFox. So go to chartfox.org. Log in with your VATSIM credentials. Once you have signed in with your log with your VATSIM credentials, you can search the ICAO code that you're departing from. Echo Golf Kilo Kilo and say load. And over here we have all the charts required to fly on the VATSIM network. Now obviously this user interface isn't as nice as uh, Navigraph, but it is completely free. So for example, here's the aerodrome chart. They've got all the standard instrument departures and the stars and the approach. Everything that is required to fly on VATSIM is here on chartfox.org for completely free. Now, obviously, it doesn't show you where you are. That doesn't have any moving maps or live updates or anything like that. It's basically just printed out charts that you can reference, but it's perfect for what you need for the VATSIM network. So that is an option over there for you if you don't uh, use Navigraph. Right, so it's, I'm going to go back to Navigraph now, and we can see we have got uh, Runway 08 right. What I'm going to do now is I'm not going to change any of this until I've logged onto the VATSIM network. We've listened to the ATIS, and we've checked which runway they're using on VATSIM. So let's jump into the sim and get going. All right, so here we are on the ground at Gatwick. We are at stand 562, and before I go anything further, I want to open up vPilot, connect to the network, make sure there's no other aircraft parked on the stand when we connect. All right, so with vPilot opened up, we can go and click on Connect. We're going to type in our call sign, which is... 
EZ8681. We are on A20 November for an A320 near. We make sure connecting observer mode is not ticked and we're going to say connect there. Right, connected to network, connected to voice server. And if I just move that out the way, there we can see the other aircraft populating in the sim. Okay, so we have a Lufthansa park next door to us. I think we should be okay if we stay here. Anyway, not too serious, we'll just stay here because now I've got another aircraft pulling in next to us. So we're just going to stay here and we're going to just pretend that we have got enough clearance. Good stuff. Now let's have a look at what ATC we have online at Gatwick. So if I bring up VATSPY, here we can see we have full ATC almost on the ground. So we have ATIS, we have delivery, we have ground, we have tower. Uh, we don't have direct online. And we're going to pop over to Amsterdam, which has tower, ground, and uh, approach online. So that's quite a lot of ATC for this flight. Not full ATC, but not bad. It's going to give us a good enough demonstration of how to fly on the network, both with ATC and on Unicom pilot controlled. Maybe we will get Gatwick Direct online before we uh, depart. So maybe we'll get some area controllers online while we are crossing over the channel. Okay, good stuff. So we're going to need the frequencies for this flight so let's go to the details over here and here on the top we can got ATIS we got delivery we got ground and we got tower so I'm gonna write down the frequencies in the order I need them so first I need ATIS which is 136525 then I'm gonna need delivery which is 121955 then I'm gonna need ground which is 121805 and then I'm gonna need tower which is one two four two three zero okay good stuff let's start setting up this aircraft so over into the flight deck put battery one and two on collect external power let's just go properly slow over here so i can see nicely let's put some lights on here on the emergency exit lights never logo lights can go on cruise supply can go on Aders one, two, and three can be set to nav. We can put all the fuel pumps on. And that's good for now. I think we are connected to Unicom. That's what I can hear. Let's just change it to uh, delivery one, two, one, nine, five, five. We can listen. We can listen to some departures, clearances while we get set up. Let's just get some brightness going here to all the displays. Should be good enough. Get some lights in. Easy 273, what runway will I be landing at in Manchester or do you not have that information right now? Oh, yeah, I'm not too sure about that one. I assume it's going to be some runway 2 speed lights, but yeah, uh, I, I don't know. Okay, flight plan, let's go ahead and get our yeah, some brief data. So import some brief like data. Gatwick to Amsterdam. We have a very cold weather at the moment, both in Gatwick and in Amsterdam. Payload, let's go to our fuel. We can download the fuel required. It's only 4.2 tons. We can load that in there. Payload, download that. We have a zero fuel weight of 54.4. So we can uh, start loading the aircraft with that. Let's go ahead and set up the MCDU. So AOC menu. In it. In a data request. There we have our call sign Easy 8681. Departing from Gatwick to Amsterdam, fuel on board 4.2. Estimated time on route 48 minutes, a very short flight. Right, so we can go to FMGC. Active so Nav Database is current, so today is the 1st of December, so we got the new one from 13 November to 27 December, that's all good. And let's go to the init page, so we're going to go init request. Flight number easy 8681, alternate, Echo Hotel, Bravo Kilo, cost in X10, cruise flight level 230, so that all looks good. Let's go to our flight plan. Right, that's all inserted nicely. 
So I know I'm skipping over this very fast, but today is all about Batsim. We do need to set up our departure while we had the flight plan. In order to do that, we need to listen to the ATIS first to find out what runway we're taking off of. And uh, we have to listen to the ATIS before we contact delivery to get our departure clearance. So our ATIS frequency that we wrote down is uh, 136525. Oh, yes, we'll see if I can accept this. Roger, when you're ready, come back and I'll get your clearance. 136525. So we set that in there. Boarding completed. Hi, aircraft, Titan, first contact, advise on initial contact. You have information, Yankee. Okay, we need information, Yankee, so we have information, Yankee. Gas with eight is Yankee 1750 Zulu. Dead runway in use zero E I G H T R transition level seven five I L S approach to be expected. Departure flight crew must report ready with Gatwick delivery on one two one decimal nine and five five when zero one zero and six when variable three zero and zero five zero. Cab OK. Temperature one two point minus one. Q N H one zero zero nine. Acknowledge receipt of information Yankee and for departures. Advise aircraft type. Right. So we have information Yankee. We have a departing runway of zero eight right. We have a QNH of 1009. The winds are 0106. The winds aren't too bad. It is cold. So we got a QNH of 1009. Let's stick that in there so long. And uh, because we're departing off runway 08 right, that's the departure we expect to get from delivery. So we have the information required to talk to delivery because he's going to ask us. Or we need to tell him that we've got information Yankee, we've listened to the ATIS, uh, where we parked, who we are, and what we want. That reminds me, I haven't filed the flight plan on uh, V-Pilot, I just heard him tell the guy he hasn't got his flight plan. So make sure we load the flight plan on V-Pilot before we call, otherwise he's going to tell us he doesn't have a flight plan. So we're going to go load, we're going to go from Echo Golf Kilo Kilo to Echo Hotel Alpha Mike. Alternate departure time is fine. Time on route, fuel availability, cruise altitude 230. There's our route right, there. And then we're going to say file flight plan. And there it says flight plan filed. Now delivery will be able to look at that flight plan. Make sure it's valid. And then we will get our clearance when we ask him for it. All right, let's continue setting up the MCDU now that the passengers have been loaded. So after flight plan, we've got in at B. So we can go to the second in it page. We've got a block fuel of 4.2. Zero fuel weight of 54.5. Now that matches what we have here in our operational flight plan. So we have fuel of 4.2, 4.1 rounded up. We have a zero fuel weight of 54.5. That matches over there. 54.5. Good stuff. Our trip wins for this flight. We'll get back at the top here, it is minus, that's uh, plus one, so that's really no wind at all. Okay, you see that guy didn't pull his flight plan either, he forgot, right, so there's the NFB page. Now before we do this, we need that uh, departure. So let's call him up, we're going to tell him who we are, where we are, and what we want. So we are... Easy 8681, A320neo, stand 562, information Yankee, request IFI clearance to uh, Amsterdam. So as soon as we've got a gap in the frequency, let's ask for clearance. Get rid delivery, hello, Easy 8681, uh, Airbus A320neo, stand 562, we have information Yankee, QNH 1009, request IFI clearance to Schiphol. Clear skip all frame one Zulu departure squawk five zero one four easy eight six eight one. Okay, so we have uh, frame one Zulu departure and we have squawk five zero one four. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my squawk because I've got an old habit of forgetting to do that. So five zero one four is the squawk. We'll put that on auto for now, and then yeah, we're going to go. Echo Golf Kilo Kilo Departure 08 right and then the Frayne 1 Zulu Departure that one over there. So let's insert that over there. Should just be a straight out departure then a right turn. Okay, so let's go back to the route.
clear the discontinuity. So after fraying, we've got a discontinuity. Let's clear that. And that'll connect everything up nicely there. Good stuff, right. Let's go ahead and do the performance takeoff page. Position altitude 6000, that's correct. We're going to do a flaps 2 departure. Uh, we're not going to use a flex temp, we'll just use toga. Our V speeds are going to be 121, 122, and 126. And that's the MCD you've set up. Let's go ahead and brief this departure quickly. So if I bring up Navigraph, okay, so we have straight out onto of 08 right. We're going to do straight to heading of 091, 089. At KKE 10, we need to be above 3000 but below 5000. Then at KKE 17, we're going to be at 5000. KKE 25, we're going to be at 5000. Then a left turn to the Detling VOR at 5000. Then we can continue the climb to be at 6000 at frame. So we're going to stick to all these altitude restrictions as we climb out of uh, Gatwick. Obviously, if there's no HC online, we might just continue to climb further. If HC is online, maybe they're going to hold us there or they're going to give us permission to continue to climb. So that is the departure. While we are here, let's look at the airport chart. So we are parked here in the northern terminal. I like to plan our taxi route before we push back because once we push back, we might not have time to study these charts. So I like to do it uh, before I push back. It gives me time to just familiarize myself with the taxi route that I might be given by ATC. Top tip, if you're still a newbie, maybe park somewhere closer to the active runway before you uh, connect to the VATSIM network. You can check which is the active runway by looking at that spa or by logging onto vPilot and then logging off again, checking the ATIS. But uh, it's just a little bit useful for copying down taxi instructions if you're still new. So if I have a look at the Gatwick charts and I go to the airport, uh, the parking stands, yeah, we can see nicely. So we're going to probably taxi down Quebec Alpha to Lima and then maybe, I don't know if it's going to be Quebec, Romeo or uh, Sierra, but we're going to taxi all the way down and then continue down to over here by uh, 08 right, which is this side. So probably down Quebec Alpha, Lima, maybe Sierra, Juliet. So that's something more or less to expect when we get our taxi instructions once we have uh, pushed back. Okay, so we need to tell him when we are fully ready. So let's go ahead and everything is set up on the MCDU. We have our score code in. We have the aircraft sets up. Our initial altitude, I said, is going to be 5,000. That's our first stop altitude. Let's go ahead and start the APU. So we can disconnect the external power and get ready for pushback and start up. Sun is setting, so we're going to arrive at Amsterdam in the dark. Okay, APU is available. Let's put the APU bleed on, disconnect the external power, and we can tell delivery that we are ready for push and start. Easy 8681 ready for push and start. Uh, AFM, easy 8681. Okay, so they're very busy at ground at the moment, so you'll call me back when um, we can push back. So we're going to push back nose right tail left. Let's go ahead and turn on the beacon light. All right, I'll get that next time. All right, so let's have a look at the traffic. So let's, you can see we have a lot of aircraft which are taxiing along to the airport, to the runway. So we're going to remain with delivery until he gives us permission to contact ground and uh, taxi out to the runway. It's one thing about flying on the VATSIM network. You might have a few delays, especially when it gets busy. It's all part and parcel of the fun of flying on the VATSIM network. So yeah, as you can see, we have quite a lot of aircraft on the ground. A few parking at the stands, quite a few taxiing. To the runway. As you can see, we've got quite a few aircraft over there. Anyway, we will just wait. Guess there's not much we can do now, but wait while we're doing that. If I bring up the pilot, 
excuse me if I bring up uh, bat spy you can see that we are at Gatwick and you can see we've got some ATC has popped up online at uh, right, Amsterdam. Miles for easy so we've got Amsterdam radar okay. which we'll connect to once we pass over the channel here so and hopefully they all stay online out. and then we got Approach, we got tower, ground, and ATIS, so we'll have a full on ATC for arrival into Amsterdam if we can get there before they go offline. So let's hope we can get out of here as soon as possible. Another thing we can do while we're waiting is we can plan our approach because it's a very short flight. So we can see if we look at uh, the ATIS for. Amsterdam we can see they're using runway main landing runway 06 so we can already plan our arrival for 06 because we know already, already that's the runway that they are using so if we go to Navigraph and we go over to Amsterdam and we check Amsterdam 06 we're going to go set runway so we're going to do runway 06 our arrival is going to be the Redfer 1 Alpha arrival because we're going to Redfer. Oops. So if we have a look at Redfer, we're going from Redfer to Sugol and then we will join the approach. Obviously, we have HC online, so they're probably just going to evac to us to line up for 06. But that's what we'll punch into the MCDU. So let's do the approach. So it's going to be set approach it's going to be RLS 06 via Sugol so runway 06 via Sugol no Sugol 1 Bravo I don't like that one remove set approach 06 Sugol 1 Bravo that looks better probably from Sugol to surely they're not going to take us all the way around they'll probably just vector us on but we'll punch that into the MCDU for flight planning purposes in the meantime so let's go back to the MCDU we're going to go to flight plan destination arrival ILS 06 going to be the red for one alpha arrival I'm going to do the Sugol 1 Bravo. To Let's insert that there. Let's see what that looks like on the planning page. So let's have a look. Let's take this out. Let's step through the flight plan. Over the channel to Red Flat to Sugol. Yeah, that looks more like it. That's better. From Sugol, probably get vectored around to. The ILS-06. Okay, looks good. Obviously, that can change once we're in the air and talking to ATC. He's going to give us a different approach. But in the meantime, for planning purposes, we will just use that one. Okay, good stuff. Now we wait. Easy 8681 delivery. Easy 8681, go ahead. Easy 8 I'm going to be closing, sir. Um, but the ground controller is aware that you are first for pushback. So monitor him and he will call you when he's ready. A thermal monitor ground for on uh, 121804, easy 8681, thanks, bye. Ooh, we'll go, go. Easy 8681, I'm 562, pushing start, pushing south. Clear push and start, easy 8681, facing south. Okay, so we've been cleared to push and start. I was looking at another chart there for the holding points, so let's go ahead and release the parking brake. Good evening, and push back, because it's going to take a very long. Okay, we're starting at number two. Uh, yes, I'm ignoring the arse warning. Just want to get these engines started up so we can get out of here. We've been waiting a long time for this pushback clearance. Okay, engine 2 is available, let's start engine 1. And then it's your first left holding point, Golf 1. Alright, engine number 1 is starting up nicely, so we're almost ready. Okay, bypass finished, removed. 
engine one is available so let's go ahead and turn off the apu bleed apu can go off let's go turn on the nose wheel lights and the runway turn off lights set auto brake to max set the flaps on the speed brake mission can go off predictor wind shear can go on while we're here let's do a quick flight control check Right, flight controls. Full up, neutral, full down, neutral, full left, neutral, full right, neutral, rudder, full right, and full left. Okay, flight controls check, good. Pitch trim. Hurry for taxi, easy 8681. perfect, thanks. Taxi. Quebec Alpha, Lima, Romeo, hold short, Juliet. Quebec Alpha, Lima, Romeo, hold short, Juliet, uh, EZ8681. Okay, so he caught us unaware there, but we are ready, so let's just go ahead and turn off this um, dome light. And let's get our taxi. So we're going to start, let's release the parking brake and get rolling. And then we'll check where we're going. Right, so I'm bringing up Navigraph again, so we're going to go Quebec Alpha, Lima, Romeo, hold short Juliet, so we're going to taxi to that holding point there. So it's given us Quebec Alpha, then Lima, then Romeo, and hold short Juliet, so we have to stop here on Romeo, we cannot continue further than this. Stand by, great key, before I go to Quebec, next left, Golf, please. Uh, Oops, let me just keep an eye on where I'm going. Okay, seat belt sounds should be on already. They are on. Okay, seat belt sounds are on, it's now on, it's on time. Take off config. Test. Okay, so we're going to do a right turn onto Lima here. And then a left turn onto Romeo. Okay, so now we're on Lima. And then we're going to do a right turn onto uh, Romeo, which I think is this one. Four, nine of Victor, so Quebec Charlie, first. Gatwick ground it's the next uh, one. Low, uh, confirm Gatwick direct, so they're currently not online. Sorry, Gatwick delivery. Uh, uh, so this um, one is Roger, Romeo. Um, just check the frequency 121.955 and call them one more time. They've just logged on, so they may be uh, just sorting something out. Okay, left onto Romeo. If you can't get a hold of them, then you can come back to me in a couple of minutes. Great, thanks. I'll break break off there. I've just had the exact same issue. Do you want to try and contact them again? Rush, uh, just stand by. I'll uh, try and give them a call and see. Come on, just stand by. I'll break break off there. And Seggy 1331 is ready for pushing. I'm going to taxi down to the end of Romeo and, and then hold short to Juliet. Ground 2261 Delta, stand 135, ready for push and start. We get 261 Delta, thanks. Number 3, could I stand by, call you back. Break Alpha, X ray Golf Sierra, A firm, if you could try one more time, please, 121. One, okay, so we're going to stop here five, at uh, this holding point, one, which is Romeo 1. Alpha, 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 Okay, and just in time we can continue the taxi on to Juliet. So we're going to do a right turn on to Juliet to taxi to Juliet 4. Over to Tower, Alright, so here we are on Juliet. Our next frequency is going to be tower, so we can probably throw that in the standby for now. 
and tower is one two four two three zero so one two four two three at the same time I'm trying to see that I'm still in the taxiway two three zero good stuff I thought I switched off this dome light All right, so we're going to Juliet 4, which is... the first holding point at the end of this taxiway. All right, I'm going to go join the queue for takeoff. Easy eight six eight one contact tower one two four small two three zero bye. One two four two three zero for tower easy eight six eight one thanks bye. Okay so one two four two three zero. Okay now we're on the tower frequency before we go ahead and check in with him. Just make sure nobody's on frequency, as you can see he's busy talking. So you don't want to switch frequencies and immediately start uh, talking to HC. You want to listen for a while. You don't have to contact him immediately. We've got our instruction to taxi all the way to Juliet 4. So you can continue doing that until you need to contact him. Ketuk Tower, hello, easy 8681. Taxiing along Juliet 4, Juliet 4. Easy 8681, Ketuk Tower, hello, hold Juliet 4. Hold Juliet 4, easy 8681. Okay, so we've checked in with him. Construction remains the same. We're going to hold at uh, Juliet 4, which I think is this uh, holding point right in front of me, the red lights you can see before the runway. So I'm going to start slowing down a little bit just to make sure. So we're going to stop here, we're going to join the queue, and we're going to wait for our turn to depart. That would be a 125 going tower. And stop right here. Yeah. Easy 8681, began the departing traffic out of 320, where is Juliet 1, runway 08, right, line up and wait. Found the departing traffic, runway 08, right, line up and wait behind, easy 8681. Okay, good stuff, we can go, so just go ahead and turn on the runway. L landing lights on, taxi lights take off, transponder, T-A-R-A, if I can find it. Let me get on the runway rather first, because I can't see. T A R A. There we go. Put that back off. <clears throat> that was a terrible lineup because I'm not looking what I'm doing. But we got plenty of runway. So let's line up here and we'll wait. Strobe lights can also go on. I forgot that one. Airframe 356, no further 80, so available, we come 1 to 2 decimal 8, good day. Over to you in the car, have a good one. Easy 861, subscribe 0 to 05, runway 08, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, easy 8681. Okay, clear for takeoff, so. Easy 5, Nanner, behind the departing company traffic, airframe 20, 50 cents. Where actually 8, 1, runway 08, right, line up and wait for that. And Toga. Right, man, Toga, SRS runway. Auto throttle blue. 2261, Delta, 80 knots. Final one, Delta, 50, 51, 1, 2, 3, 8, 
positive rate of time. Gear up. Right, pitching and flight directors. A little bit of a turn to the left. Hello, Pitch down to follow the flight director's speed up. Right, as the speed increases, we can retract the flaps, so we're going to go flaps one. Unicom 122 decimal 8, easy 8681, thanks, bye. Okay, flaps up. Pitching to follow the flight directors. Just get back on course. Continue the climb to 5,000 feet. Let's go ahead and on the speed brakes. And we can turn on the autopilot. Continue to climb up to 5,000 feet. 250 knots. Landing lights can go off. Right, there's our altitude restriction of 5,000 feet. We leveled off at 5,000 feet. And we're making our left turn. Now what we can do is, because there's no ATC online, we don't have to stick to all these altitude restrictions. So here we are at 5,000 feet. Oh, I suppose got a Unicom. It's got a Unicom, one, two, two, decimal eight. Instead of sticking to these altitude restrictions as I was showing you here, at 5,000, 5,000, and then 6,000, let's uh, assume that we have ATC clearance to continue the climb up to our cruising flight level of 230. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna change this to 230. And uh, I'll do open climb to ignore the altitude restrictions. And there we're going to continue our climb up to flight level 230. Now I'm going to cut this video here. You don't have to watch the whole climb up to the cruise. Once we get into the cruise, we'll come back, we'll plan the arrival, and um, I'll make sure that you guys are with me for the VATSIM ATC arrival into Amsterdam. All right, so here we're coming up to uh, flight level 210 for 230. And what I like to do is, same as the uh, departure, uh, I'm going to do the same for the arrival, is write down the frequencies. So yeah, you see we have all these frequencies. So first of all, we're going to be contacting Amsterdam radar, which is 125-750. After that, we have skip all approach, which is 121205. I'm writing all of these down on my piece of paper. After approach, we're going to have tower, which is 119230. And then we're going to have ground, which is 121805. 121805. ATIS, we have 132980, which we're going to need first. 132980. We could probably get the ATIS already. Here we are here. We are on our way. So before we get here, uh, Amsterdam Radar is going to send us a message on B pilots ask us, us to contact them. So we're just going to continue the cruise and we're going to wait for that to happen. In the meantime, what we can also do is we can check our charts and check our arrival. So we did um, we did plan before we take off the Red for one Alpha arrival. So we will brief that just in case that's what we get from ATC when we uh, contact them. Let's first listen to the ATIS, which is 132980. So we're going to go 132980. Zero degrees, three knots. Visibility one zero kilometers or more. You cross with 1500. Temperature minus two, dew point minus three. UMH one zero one zero hectopascal. Operational report. 
Contact approach and arrival call sign only. Noise abatement not flow procedure shall be applied. Acknowledge information. Foxtrot. Okay, we have information Foxtrot. This is Chisel Information Foxtrot. Main landing runway 06. Zero 06 six. Six six runway. Six runway. Okay, so we're landing. Level four five. Transition level 4-5 Okay, cool. So we got transition level of 4,500. We're landing on runway 06. We've got a temperature of minus 2 and a Q&H of 1010. So let's go ahead and do the performance landing page. So the approach plays with Q&H of 1010. Temperature of minus two wind is a zero seven zero at three whoops at three transition alt level is four five zero is four thousand five hundred Barrow for this approach let's check our approach chart for ILS zero six left so navigraph once again we don't do that anymore, we're gonna go over here, ILS is at 189. So Barrow 189. 189. Let's check the frequency for that arrival, it is 110.55 missed approach. Climb on track 056 to 2000 feet in a form ATC. Okay, so 2000 and I must approach altitude is also 2000. Okay, cool. Runway heading is 056. I think that's all we need for that approach. So now we're just going to continue the cruise at 230. If it's time to descend and we haven't got uh, ATC yet, we'll go ahead and start the descent before we contact ATC. Let's go ahead and see where our top of descent is for this arrival. So we are there after Redfo we need to descend. But I'm pretty sure we need to start descending to be at an altitude at Redfo. Alright, so if we look at our approach, we need to be below 230, at or below 230 at Redfo. And we're already at 230. So we'll stay at 230 once we pass Redfo. Then we'll start the descent to get to between 070 and flight level 100 by Sugol. And this is our approach, the Redfo 1 Alpha. So we're going to red for 230 and we'll start the descent to be at Sugol bar above 7000 but below 10,000. But by then we should uh, be with ATC so they'll probably vector us for the ILS. They'll give us headings and altitudes to fly for the arrival. Okay so our next frequency is going to be 125750. 125750. Nice to get that into the standby so when he asks us to contact him we can just flip it over into the active. I'm sure that's the next frequency we need because we wrote it down. Let's go ahead and look at the ground chart for the airport chart for Amsterdam. Another big complicated one I don't suggest flying in and out of while you're still new to VATSIM. It can get a little bit complex but actually once you've flown into and out of this airport a couple of times it's really it becomes quite easy to understand the procedures because they, they're pretty standard. For example, if I show you the charts for the parking stands for the airport at um, Amsterdam, you can see that Taxiway Bravo goes in an anti-clockwise direction all the way around the airport. Taxiway Alpha goes in a clockwise direction all the way around the airport. So we're going to come off at 06 and uh, EasyJet, I think, they normally park at the H pier over here, hotel pier over here. So this can go two ways. We are depending on where we get off the runway, we are then be told to taxi along Bravo, which will go all the way around to Hotel Alpha Pier, or we'll get uh, Alpha, which will go the other way around. If you look at the airport chart, you'll see Alpha goes in a clockwise direction, and Bravo goes in an anti-clockwise direction. So if we come off like maybe here by Sierra Two or Sierra Three. We might be given the shorter route to go Alpha and then Quebec and we'll continue along Alpha all the way around to the Hotel Apron of here. Just something that we can anticipate so when we get those instructions we more or less know what he's going to tell us 
and that makes it easier to write it down. There we go, and that is the, there we go, that's the message. Please contact me, 125750. So let's switch over, 125750, and give him a call. After we have a direct course on the uh, front, one, four, four, zero. We're going to get him our flight level and the waypoint that we're on uh, route to. Front flight level 230, Kelam 2 to 4, text to stand Sierra 1 4 at Romeo 2, cross Romeo 03. Amsterdam Radio, hello, easy 8681, uh, flight level 230 inbound, Redfa. Easy 8681, good evening, clear to Redfa, Romeo Alpha, Rai 4, Romeo 06, descent flight level 190. Redfa 1 Alpha, arrival runway 06, uh, descent flight level 190, easy 8681. Okay, good stuff. So he's already given us descent clearance. So we're going to descend down to one nine zero. Do a nice open descent. And he's given us the arrival that we already planned uh, on uh, the ground when we're still in uh, Gatwick. So we don't have to punch in this arrival because it's what we already punched in. The red for one alpha for uh, zero six. So it makes things much easier. This is where things get interesting. Uh, we need to make sure that we listen out for our call sign. And we just follow instructions from ATC all the way down to the ground. Hopefully, uh, we have tower and ground online all the way down to uh, when we park. Everything else pretty much set up. So make sure you know how to fly your aircraft. Make sure you know how to do. Uh, Heading, select and uh, speed mode, make sure that you know how to descend to altitudes that he requires you to make sure that you stop descending when required and um, yeah, just know, just know how to fly your aircraft. As I said now, all we're going to do is we're going to follow the instructions for the arrival. Okay, our next frequency is going to be 121205, so let's put that in the standby for now. Right, here we are descending to flight level 190. That was our first instruction, so we're going to level off at 190 and we're going to wait for our. 8681, descent flight level 70 after Sugold, direct Sierra Papa Lima. Descent flight level 70 after Sugold, direct uh, Sierra Papa Lima, easy 8681. Okay, so now we can descend to 70. He's given us. For an open descent after Sugol, we're going direct Sierra Papa Lima. So we're going to go uh, flight plan, we're going to go Sierra Papa Lima, we're going to stick that in there after Sugol. 78 nautical miles or 715 nautical miles? Which one do you think is the correct one? Obviously the one 78 nautical miles away. So we're going to stick that in there. So after Sugol, we got Sierra Papa Lima. So we got Sugol, then Sierra Papa Lima. We're gonna go direct. It looks a little bit funky over there, but. Okay, six, seven, go for compass. Let's just have a look at the charts again. And make sure. I know where I'm going. So Sugol, we're going to Sierra Papa Lima. So he's taking us over the airfield. So we're going from Sugol to Sierra Papalima, which is overhead the airfield, and then we'll probably get back to the round for the arrival. Alright, so here we are at uh, flight level 070. We're down Sugol, after Sugol, we're going to head direct to Sierra Papalima, which is the VOR directly overhead the airfield. Then we can anticipate that when we go over to uh, Amsterdam approach or Schiphol approach and he's going to vector us onto the ILS for uh, Sierra 6. Approach 121205, easy 8681, thanks, bye. So 
Skipple approach, hello, EZ8681, inbound Sugal, flight level 070. EZ8681, I just approach, I'm going to We have information, call for EZ8681. Okay, now we're with approach, he's going to vector us to the ILS. Descend flight level 45, EZ8681. Okay, so we can continue our descend now to 4500. Okay, our next frequency is 119.0230. Speed 220, easy 8681. Okay, so we need to bring the speed back to 220. Okay, there's a City on the zero, confirm my climb to fight level one three zero. Roger, climbing one three zero, city one three zero. Okay, okay. Can I say Right, heading one heading one five five, descend three thousand feet, QNH one zero one zero, easy eight six eight one. Okay, right turn one five. Descend three thousand feet, easy eight six eight one. Three thousand feet. Right turn to one five five. Okay, so now we're going to get vectors on to final. Hello, is Echo Delta Whiskey flying flight level one three zero identified? Oh, well, I'm going to get you another seat. Can I six, seven, go six miles, please? Yeah. Uh, Roger. Right, so there's the airfield over there. So we go straight, and then we're going to do a left turn onto the final approach course for zero six. And that is how you get vectored from City approach on Vatsum. I really love flying on Vatsum, guys. If you can do it, then definitely jump onto Vatsum. It really just takes your flight simulation flying to a whole new level. I know it can be a little bit intimidating at first, but videos like this are definitely going to help you out. Can I take some call from right There's the airfield over there. Descend 2,000 feet, easy 8681. Okay, 2,000 feet. And that will be our altitude to intercept the localizer. Alpha, 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 Alpha,
Okay, so now we're going to be heading 0, 9, and 0. And because we've been cleared for the RLS, we don't have to stay at heading 0, 9, and 0. We can, once once we accept the localizer and the glide slope, we clear to navigate onto the final approach course. So with that done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to arm the approach. I'm going to activate approach mode. If it's not done already, activate approach phase. Confirm. Done. There's a heading 090. We'll wait for the localizer and the glide slope to come in and then we can turn on to our final approach course. We are still oh, 10 miles out. Incident, five, seven, five, eight, eight, eight. Uh, two parts of the Right, there we go, localizer captured, so now we're turning left. Right, nine miles out. One nine nine two three zero for tower, easy eight six eight one. Thanks, bye. Okay, tower one nine nine two three zero. Let's go ahead and start slowing down. Niner, one, niner, six, continue section, bravo. Just set flaps one. Ground, one, one, dash, white, zero, five, bye-bye. Contact ground, one, two, one, eight, zero, five, bye-bye. Bravo, coming. Scandinavian, two, two, five, contact approach, one, one, dash, one, two, zero, five, bye-bye. We'll wait for a gap on frequency and then we will contact tower. That will be now, one, two, three, five, bye-bye. Scandinavian 5 for 8, um, hold short, take the 4. Hold short, take the 4, Scandinavian 5 for 8. Skibble Tower, hello, easy 8681, ILS 06. Easy 8681, good evening, continue approach, um, wind 090, continue approach, easy 8681. Okay, so that's 2. Let's uh, landing gear down, start slowing down, we are very fast, so. On the speed brake, ding the cabin. Alright, let's go. F flaps 3. Let's turn off this dome light so I can just. All right, flaps full. Three miles out. Easy eight six eight one. Run with Clear to land. Clear to land. Easy eight six eight one. And we are cleared to land. Moving all my papers out the way. Our next frequency is one two one eight zero five. Papa Delta Romeo, Delta Romeo, runway 04, wind 100, 50, 40, 30, 20, retard. And we are down. I forgot to put the landing lights on, that's why we can't see anything. Anyway, reverse the screen. Slow down, slow down, slow down. And we can take the next exit. That was a very quick uh, landing. And we take exit right here. Okay. 
stay there Get them 745 from the Get Pacific left to the Bank of Wigs, 0, 9, 0, 3, no, 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 no. Okay, let's vacate the runway here. We'll stop right here. Okay, we should have followed the checklist because we didn't put our landing lights on. Put this dome light back on so I can see what's going on. Uh, easy 8681 clear of uh, 06. Easy 8681, continue taxi contact ground 121 Ground 121805, easy 8681, thanks, bye. Okay, so let's clean up the aircraft, flaps can go up, transponder can go off, uh, speed brakes can go in, so start the APU, and contact ground 121805. Power Skipper ground, hello, easy 8681 on Sierra 2 off 06. 220 coming from the. Easy 8681, hello, taxi to Hotel 4 via Quebec. Hotel 4 via Quebec, easy 8681. Okay, so as anticipated, we got uh, Hotel and we go via Quebec, which is the left hand side, which uh, is actually uh, directly in front of me. So I'm going to go left and then right onto Quebec. I mean right and then left onto Quebec, which is right in front of us. Four, four, one. Um, where uh, will you push to? Virgin 441, uh, GSX is pushing me someplace that I had no idea. We're going to stop right here just because it's being weird. To show you where I am, we search Sierra 2, yeah, we're going to go to Quebec, up Alpha, to Hotel 4, I guess. Uh, uh, anyway, we're about to turn into our gate here, so that's it for our flight. Once we've parked, we're going to shut down and we're going to call it a night. As always, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, uh, leave a comment down below. If you have any questions regarding VATSIM, also jump onto our Discord server. We've got a community going there. We've got quite a lot of people on, on uh, Discord lately. And yeah, come join us on the VATSIM network. Maybe we can uh, plan a group flight or something in the near future. So yeah, we are. We are heading to the hotel apron. We are going to hotel four. And we're going to stop right here. Okay, this could be good enough. Let's hit the parking brake. Those lights should have been off already. And we're going to turn off the engine. Shut down the engines. And there you have it, guys. Flat on Batsum from A to B. Request to boarding. Let's go ahead and connect the external power. And we can start deporting. Alright, that's it for tonight, guys. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.